Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther up here. Today we're going to check it out some really interesting blobs. Check this out. We're going to mix in some types with these uh, transparent blobs that are basically magnifying the text. First thing, I'm going to delete everything what's on the artboard. Click on delete. And from here, I'm going to change the background colors, which is here. Click and I'm going to go with, there you go. I'm going to select the text, which is here. I'm going to click. And I can type in Panther. Now, Spline has like limited fonts. You can basically select here. You also can import like SVJs with like text, but not all of them are gonna work. I also tried to import my logo, but uh, unfortunately, some of the letters were screwed up, so it didn't look that good. You can increase the font size. Look at that, we got like Helvetica, not Helvetica, but Helvetica. Bold typeface. I'm gonna go with Helvetica then. I'm gonna paint it black, change it to black, and now I'm gonna convert it to shape. So this is the converted shape. Right now I'm gonna ungroup selection. So this way I'm gonna delete this box. So this way I can arrange it however I like. So I'm gonna select it and pull this arrow like that. And from here, we're going to create those circles. I'm going to make it from sphere. I'm going to press and hold shift. I'm going to press and hold alt and rotate it like this. And from here, we're going to make it flat. So I'm going to pull this little square right here. See that? So it's going to make it more flat. So I won't make it 100% flat, something like this. So it's going to look like a magnifier. See that? You also can pull it a little, little bit further so it won't touch the text. And from here, we're gonna apply the glass, go to the material, click on the material, and I'm gonna select glass. Did the job. So as you can see right now, it's blurry. So I'm gonna go here to the glass options, click on it, and we got the blur. The blur, blur is on 10. And I'm gonna decrease it to zero, and we got the thickness. You can make it thicker, you can make it thinner. I'm gonna, gonna go with 45 so far, but it really depends like uh, how big is your text and circle. You need to adjust the ratio according to the dimension of your text. Also, we got like the reflection. I gotta try it out like this. Why not? I gotta press Control C, Control V, create a new copy. Maybe gonna position it here. And I also gonna rearrange the glass 1.14. And you also can uh, reposition these, push it more further. And I'm gonna press here the little circle, the blue circle, so it's gonna position it per uh, perfectly from the front. Control C, Control V, and you just make a nice composition. You can scale it down and position this even more to the front, like that. So the composition looks like this so far, and now we're gonna apply some animation. I'm gonna select one of these circles, I'm gonna click on the state, click on the little plus, and we got like the position right here. As you can see, I gonna we can move this around with these arrows. We got the red and we got the green. So I'm gonna move the green up like this. I'm gonna click on the event, the little plus, go to the start, start, mouse hover. I'm gonna go to the sphere and we're gonna go to the transition from easing out to spring. I'm gonna click here on the play. Let's see what happens. See, it starts bouncing. And you just do the same with every each, just make them move around. Woo! And this side looks, it's really interesting. And this was it. Thanks for watching and if you are new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.